Hello, good day viewers. Here is our second lesson on the bearing and distance. So without wasting much time, let us start. The question says, a hunter walked into a bush on a bearing of 20 degrees to reach a hut 600 meters from his home. This means that he started the trip from his home down to a bush to a particular hut which is 600 meters away from his home. He then walked 500 meters on a bearing of 115 degrees to a trap. This means that he set a trap away from his hut which is in the bush and from his hut to that trap is 500 meters away on a bearing of 115 degrees from the hut to the trap. We are asked to find uh, these questions. You can see them there for. The first one, we are asked to find the distance of the trap from his home because he started this journey from his home to the bush, even into the bush, to his heart, and from his heart down to the trap. So we want to find the distance directly from the trap to his home. That is the first question. The second question we ask to find the bearing of the trap from his home. The third question we ask to find the bearing of his home from the trap. And last but not the least, we ask to find the bearing of the heart from the trap. Remember I told you the first point you need to plot is the first bearing. And you can see from the question, the first bearing is 20 degrees. And where is this 20 degrees constructed? Right for his home. So the first point is home. And let that home be A point, and every point has not pole. So we want to construct 20 degrees here and a distance of 600 meters. So this is roughly 20. And let's assume this is just 600 meters. And this is 20 degrees. Make sure you write it in three digits. And this point here is H, which is the heart. It also has North Pole. And this is the South. So from then, he walked 500 meters on a bearing of 115 degrees. So we are going to construct angle 115 here. Remember, if we should have the four cardinal points from north to east, because this is east, from north to east is 90 degrees. What we have left to make it 115 is 25, because if you add 90 and 25 together, you shall obtain 115. So we only have 25 degrees left to construct. So let's assume this is angle 25 degrees. And make sure that this line is shorter than this because this is 500 while this is 600. So let's write this as 500 meters. And this small angle here is 25. With this 90, we have 115. All right, but remember the whole of this stretch line is 180 from not to south is 150. 80, but we already have 115. We have 65 left. So this is angle 65 degrees. The reason why I didn't include three digits because I introduced this one myself and uh, it has a purpose of doing so. This angle and this angle are alternate to one another. They are equal. So this is also 20 degrees. If you combine the two, we have 85 degrees because 20 plus 65 is 85. 
Remember, this is our last point, which is the trap. It also has this knot pole. So the first question, it says we should find the distance of the trap from home. This is the home. This is the trap T. We want to find their distance apart. So let us connect them together. The opposite lengths are given from the question and the angle in between them is 85 degrees. We are looking for distance here. We are free to use cosine rule. The formula is the length which we are looking for squared. The length is 80 squared is equal to uh, the other side square. Let us start with this one, uh, 600 squared plus the other one which is 500 squared, then minus two multiplied by the first one. Let us start with 600, multiplied by the second one, which is 500, multiplied by the cos of that angle in between them, which is 85 degrees. We are moving on. Let me use my calculator. 600 squared, plus 500 squared, we have 610,000. This is equal to 610,000 minus, let me take them all together. Um, let me start with cos 85. I have cos 85. What I have, I will multiply it with 500. Then I will also multiply by 600. Lastly, I will multiply by two because they are all multiplying one another. And what I have here is 52,293 approximately. 52,293. While this one remain a t squared. Let me use the other side. Then this minus this. And I have 80 squared equal to 557,707 approximately. But what we are looking for is 80, not 80 squared. Therefore, we are going to take the square root of both sides. 80 will be equal to the square root of 557707. Seven, seven, seven. So the square root of this, I have 747 approximately, is approximately equal to 747 meters. It means that the distance here is 747 meters. Now we have answered this. Let us move on to the second question. We are asked to find the bearing of the trap. This is the trap from his home. The bearing is going to be from this knot pole down to this side, let me make it like this. We want to find the total angle from this knot pole down to this line leading to T. But already we have this one as 20 degrees. All we have to do is to find this angle, whatever we obtain, we add it to this 20 degrees to find the total bearing. Because if you are to find bearing, always you have to start from the knot. And, and that word from is also very important. Once you hear the, the word from, that is where you're going to construct that angle. This is his home from North Pole down to the line leading to that position. This angle is missing, but its opposite length is given as 500. This angle is given. We have obtained this one already, so we can use sine rule. Since we are done with this one, we can take it down. So using sine rule, 
we can see this angle since it is missing let us call it theta so sine theta over the opposite length which is 500 will be the same thing as sine of this angle which is already there over the opposite length which is 747 meters we are looking for this angle let us first of all multiply uh, both sides by 500 so sine theta will be equal to 500 sine 85 degrees over 747 we can all simplify it at once from calculator we have sine 85 what we have we are going to multiply it with 500 then we divide by 7 Four seven, and what we have is zero point six six six. This is sine theta. But to find theta alone, we are going to take the sine inverse of both sides. Taking sine inverse of this, you'll be left with theta, and this will be sine inverse of this zero point six six six. So I want to use my calculator to find the sine inverse of this. You touch shift uh, sine of this. And what I have here is approximately equal to 42 degrees. But this is not what we are looking for. You have to write it. Therefore, the bearing of the trap from home will be equal to the total angle is going to be 20 plus theta and we have already obtained our theta so it is going to be 20 degrees plus 42 degrees which is equal to uh, 62 degrees therefore the bearing of the trap from his home is 62 degrees we have obtained the second answer let us mark it. Then the third one, we have to find the bearing of his home from the trap. This is his home, this is the trap. So we are going to calculate this angle from here down to the line leading to his home. Already this one will be the same thing as 65 because they are alternate. So I can write it as 65 degrees. How can we find this internal angle? We can find this internal angle by substituting theta with, uh, our theta is 42 degrees. So we can write it here, 42 degrees. And the total angles, if you add them all together, you're going to obtain 180 in a triangle. So let us substitute to find the other one. We want to find this one. So it is going to be 180 minus this one, which is 42 the minus the other one which is 80 85 and what i have here is 53 because 53 degrees now plus 42 degrees plus 85 degrees will give us 180 degrees i'm doing this one for a purpose because now i know angle at the center is 360 so what i will do here is to subtract this and this from 360 what is left is this angle from the north of t down to the line leading to a which is the required bearing so let me wipe this one the bearing of home his home from the trap will be equal to 360 which is an angle at the center minus 53 minus 65 degrees what we have left is our answer so this is 360 
minus 53 minus 65 and what I have is 242 degrees 242 degrees so this angle here from the North Pole down to the line leading to A is 242 degrees this one is answered moving on to the last one we are asked to find the bearing of the heart this is the heart from the trap so we are going to find the total angle from this North Pole moving down 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 till we hit this line moving to the heart which is H already we have obtained this one from here to here as 242 for us to find the total we're just going to add this and this together to obtain our answer so finally this is uh, 3 number 4 the bearing of heart from trap is equal to 242 degrees plus this angle which is 53 degrees and this is equal to um, 295 295 degrees as our final answer so from this north pole down to this line leading to H is the required bearing which is 295 degrees and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day